Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Next week on Coronation Street, this state's life is expected to get significantly busier as she gets some significant news. The character worked as a supervisor for Underworld in Norwich for a significant chunk of 2023 while gone. This plot point was created to allow Jenny Calpine to take maternity leave. In upcoming episodes, Fizz will be shockingly reminded of her history while juggling her connection with Tyrone's birth mother Cassie and the normal turmoil that comes with life on the cobbles. Fizz is currently back in Witherfield. Debbie and Rita approach Fizz at the cafe and tell him that Alina Pop might be called as a witness in the trial of the head of a human trafficking organization in Romania. Looking back to 2019, Seb Franklin discovered that Alina had been forced into the UK to work as a nail technician and that her boss had taken her passport in order to keep her from going back to her native country. She quickly strained relations between Tyrone and Fizz, his longtime boyfriend, after moving on to Coronation Street. After their nine-year romance ended, they moved into the salon apartment together. Hope, Tyrone's pyromaniacal daughter, wasn't too happy about their marriage and started a fire in the apartment, which led to Alina miscarrying a child. A few weeks later, she declared she was pregnant once more, but she was furious to find that he had made up the story regarding Hope's actions and had made the decision to leave for Romania. She informed Tyrone that she had made a mistake in her dates and that she had never been pregnant in the first place when he soon located her at the Chariot Square Hotel. She did, however, reveal that she was pregnant when she ordered a tomato juice and held her stomach at the airport departures lounge. Fizz will become extremely agitated at the mere mention of Alina, but what will happen to her if, as we all assumed, Alina returns to Weatherfield with a child? Next week, Coronation Street might see a large-scale departure, with potential exits located everywhere. While Adam Barlow believes a third Weatherfield resident is dead, two other individuals appear to be in serious jeopardy. Then it appears that two distinct figures are considering crossing the street, as there are two more potential exits lined up. In subsequent scenes, it is revealed that Ryan Connor is heading to Ireland, but will he stay there forever? Spider must make a difficult choice because of a menacing threat, and a job opportunity that would need him to relocate. Two more residents are in risk due to the same threat, and Adam worries that his actions have resulted in a vicious murder. The main events on Corey for the upcoming week are listed below. Teased by a double exit, only one week after Evelyn and her daughter's cab departure, Coronation Street appears to be getting ready for another double exodus. One of those might be Spider, who only returned to the ITV soap opera last year. It airs on Virgin Media in Ireland. He has the chance to relocate away from the street to better defend himself. But will he take it? Ryan, a resident who has struggled since suffering an acid assault, may also be moving out of the cobblestones permanently. Daisy runs outside as Peter tells her that Ryan is heading to Ireland the following week. But will she be able to stop him next week on Coronation Street? Two characters might meet their demise after a violent attack turns into a revenge twist. One Weatherfield resident is terrified after realizing a loved one is in risk due to a menacing threat. Spider finds out that something is seriously wrong when he receives a shock that puts him and his family in jeopardy. It's a statement from Lean Battersby. His worst nightmares come true when he rushes home to discover that there is blood all over the place and that his partner Toya Battersby and Lean Steps and Sam are missing from the apartment. Everything begins in response to a threat to Spider, who earlier this year assisted in the successful prosecution of racist Griff in the context of the soap opera's dark extremism plot. Murder twists involving Damon Hayad and Barlow of Coronation Street appears to be going to regret his quick revenge scheme against Damon after learning of a local mobster's cold-blooded murder. 
Adam is taken aback when Nick, on the ITV soap opera the next week, displays a piece from the Gazette that claims one of the brothers Damon was linked with has been arrested for the murder of a local mobster. Adam is afraid that Damon might be murdered because he knows that he talked to a local thug to remove Damon out of his and wife's, Sarah's lives. Sarah comes home from her affair with Damon to find Adam going through her phone. However, the attorney is agitated because he needs to know if she has heard from Damon because he has admitted to doing something extremely foolish. Colson Smith, a star of Coronation Street, reveal that he is getting used to his new appearance following a hair transplant. The actor said lately that he underwent the surgery years after becoming aware of his thinning hair. The actor revealed last week that he had undergone a hair transplant when he shared a happy photo of himself with his hair styled differently than usual. Part of his red locks are still visible at the back of his head, while the front is shaven. Coulson, who plays PC Craig Tinker in the ITB serial opera, opened up to fans about his choice to get the transplant, saying, a little different from my typical hairdo. I received a hair transplant on Monday. I've wanted a transplant ever since I became aware of my hair loss at age 22. Losing my hair at such a young age has been a tough thing for me to come to terms with. I instantly feel so much better and more confident that I've taken a step to getting back my luscious strawberry blonde locks. The 25-year-old added, When I first met at the San Farjo in 2023, he helped me understand my hair loss and the future of my hair. I feel so lucky to now be on my hair journey with such a talented and friendly team based here in Manchester at Farjo Hair Institute. Colson concluded his post with the following message, Battle over baseball caps and combovers. I look forward to growing a massive head of hair in the future. Since then, the soap star has been recuperating at home. And on Wednesday, July 24, she provided an update. Coulson posted a photo of his recuperating bedside while taking a break from the cobblestones, captioning it, This has been my transplant recovery spot. Crying emoji. Turning off has actually been strangely pleasant. Have fun visiting my home for a while. Recap my life administration. But I'm almost ready to start running again and studying lines right now. In another mirror photo that he posted, he was seen flaunting his clean-shaven head. Coulson posted on his fans and followers, getting used to it, with an egg and a bold guy emoji. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.